haven't noticed, we're not on the bayou. Tonight, we're at the public house in New Orleans, getting ready to enjoy John Mooney Live. Well, I was born in New Jersey, Orange, New Jersey. And uh, in 59, we moved to a farm in uh, western New York, near Rochester, New York. But then uh, in the, oh, the early 70s, I started uh, hitchhiking around the country and street singing at different uh, festivals and stuff like that. And uh, about 76, uh, exactly 76, I was just tired of hitchhiking around and decided to stay in New Orleans when I got here. And uh, remember the first day I got here, I saw, first thing I did was we went and saw Professor Longhair and then saw Earl King and then that night when I saw James Booker. And so I pretty much decided then that I was, this is where I was supposed to be, I guess. You know. When I was uh, 16, I met Sunhouse. And uh, Sunhouse is one of the uh, I know what uh, he's called the father of the folk blues, the Delta blues is what he played. Uh, him and Charlie Patton, Willie Brown, back in the 30s and 40s, he was a big Delta blues singer and uh, recorded for Paramount Records. And he was a big influence on Muddy Waters and Robert Johnson and Howlin' Wolf and, uh, and myself. So I uh, learned Delta stuff from him. And then coming to New Orleans and playing with, um, you know, like, uh, well, you know, shows with Professor Longhair and playing a lot of shows with Zigaboo playing drums and George Porter playing bass. And it just, the uh, funk meets the delta, I guess, you know, or second line blues is what we call it a lot of times. So that's pretty much how that came about. <laughs> Orleans pretty much is the ideal place, not only for musicians to live, but I think for anybody, you know. And um, there's just no place like it. And, and people who come and visit, you know, get usually get a little taste of it, you know, and, uh, and then start coming back. And then uh, a lot of people end up staying because I don't know, there's just no place like it. Of course, you know. I mean, the food in South Louisiana is just. Uh, there's just nothing like it. I mean, where, where else can you go, you know, and find, you know, crawfish and, you know, just the, the range of dishes, I guess, the range of food and just everything is, is just so good, you know. And, and I don't know, it's, and I think it's the air is thicker, too, you know, and it just it makes the, the, that, maybe the air is thicker and the aromas from the food gets in the funkiness of the music and, just kind of all mixes together. I don't know. It just seems to be all one thing, you know, because mu music is not, music is about life. Food is about life, too. So you need both of them. Yeah, it's a lot easier to, to uh, learn how to play music than learn how to cook some stuff. You know? <laughs>
call it. We'll be back in a flash with a little more trash. So you stick around. Thank you.